very warm welcome to everybody. Om Namah Shivaya. Welcome also online for our first evening of lectures on the Bhagavatam. Seven day journey to the meaning of life with our guest of honor, Sri Venugopal Goswami from Vrindavan, North India, coming from an over 500 year old tradition of teaching the sacred scripture, Bhagavatam, and also direct and close disciple of Sri Pandit Jasraj, the famous Indian vocalist master. And we also give a warm welcome to the accompanying musicians and wish everybody a very inspiring afternoon. And we welcome our guests, Radhe Radhe. Sajjudanand rupaya vishvodu vatyadi hetave Tapatraya vinashaya shri krishna yavayam namah Yambravayantu manupetam apet krityam dvaipayano Virahakatar ajuhav Putre didanamay dayadaro Hridayam Munimanato Sme Chetas Chintaya Chenumaya Bhasam Nutan Jaladhar Rochir Vikasam Eat Vasan Dhar Sundar Natabar Madhur Vikaswar Sundar Hasam Meri Bhavadha Haro Shri Radha Nagar Soy Jhatan Ki Jhai Par Shyam Harit Yuti Ho Charan Kamal Shavishtapurana 
गुरुरु ब्रह्मा गुरुरु विष्णु गुरु चन प्रताप सो मिटे सभी अज्ञान आज अनुलंबित हो जाओ गन का बता दो संकीर्तन कभी तरो कमलायता विश्वम भरो द्विज भरो युग धर्म पालो मंदे जगत प्रिय करो अंत कृष्ण बहिर्गौर दर्शिदिवैभव हलौ संकर्तना सह कृष्ण चैतन्य हरुमन नंद नदन का ध्यान या अवसर ती फिर मिलेगा मेरो कहो अब मान तू घर बारी अल के मुख पे कद कान नारायण अलसाने नयना झूमत रूप निधान कर जन सुमिरत राधे श्याम तुझे तो जय श्री राधा रमण तुझे तो जय जय नवल किशोर जय गोपी चित चो तुझ माखन चो झलोरी सखी गोकुल गाम चलोरी सखी गोकुल गाम चलोरी सखी गोकुल गाम चलोरी सखी कही ना 
Ventilator okay hinten hier?
the birth of spirituality in human life is echoing you know it's like coming from a well the sound radhe radhe make it more clear and more bass radhe radhe let more radhe 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 more clear little bit radhe radhe the birth of spirituality in human life <clears throat> for example eating sleeping mating and worrying for tomorrow so every human being is born with these skills and the beginning of life was only to uh, better these four activities how to find better food how to have good rest like in africa even today people sleep there's no pillow they sleep on the ground and their ants so they they keep their head 10 inches up the gro- ground and it remains like this whole night because they don't have pillow and body is tuned the head tuned So anyway, in the beginning, the situation was like this. So the means of convenience came, travel and communication, everything. Eating, sleeping, mating, and then all the means of physical entertainment and emotional entertainment, all, they came up. And worrying for tomorrow, in today's age, people from advanced countries, they go to this north of alaska and there is this small island and they live there and there's no food and every morning they have to they go hunting and bring food but this is the choice means there's no compulsion every day they search for food just like animals and birds and bring or they want to live that life so in the beginning when man came out of cave he searched for to enhance the level of these four activities and enhanced he went inside earth found petrol silver silver is used so much in the communication electronic communication silver is used gold also then all the nine gems ruby diamond all is there also they they have an element in our body like in ayurveda the you know if a ayurvedic doctor will see a nice diamond hanging in your neck he will think how to make ash of the diamond and give you or give the person so the neck of that person will never have wrinkles diamond ash <laughs> he's not looking he's not influenced by that you have a diamond in your neck but he's attracted you know how to have this so i can make this person is is just spoiling the value of diamond because it is it is a situation will come where the diamond is still will be there but the neck will not be worth hanging it there so ayurveda the science of to live better is advanced so <clears throat> anyway so the whole physical convenience and decoration everything achieved but maybe the human being was at unrest as he found things inside earth then for the feeling aspect as you think that's what you that's how you feel also as you see that's how you feel in scriptural scriptural language is said that to know to to look at to look is to know whether you have knowledge about that what you're looking at or not but you look you look and you know it how because the knower is the divine sitting in our heart 
Many people, they don't know anything about ABCD, about music. You know, means so many people go in the concerts and stadiums. Thousands, hundreds of thousands, and they don't have ABCD. You know, if, the, if you ask them, can you sing a song? They cannot. But they enjoy. Without knowing it, without knowing the technicalities of that, how can they enjoy it? But they do, because the inner likes. Not necessary for the brain to know it, because Pravishtaha Karanandhrena It goes from ear, inside, directly received by heart. Heart, that's where the, all the knowledge, wisdom, know-how, everything is there. To know, to look, is to know. So anyway, <clears throat> life is going on of human being and his situation, his feeling situation is very much influenced by what he received in his blood from his parents, from lineage. Then what are the trends? Then what are the friends? On top of that, what he thinks about, what he feels about life, a mixture of that. So the feeling is really a smoothie out of all that factors. That's what we, f we feel. So this feeling aspect, not satisfactory, not fulfilling. Atato Brahma Jigyasa Therefore an inquiry into the nature of real. The real is everything like you you hit wood, it makes sound, this is also real. Everything is real, your toothpaste, toothbrush, shoe polish. Everything is like if you have shoes and no polish, imagine. It's just like that you are eating nice juicy food but you don't have a napkin. Problem. So everything, a small thing, has value, it contributes to the moment. So unfulfilled state, as human life grew side by side, also what grew? Dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. Not fulfilled. So <clears throat> this is the result that man became educated. And education brought in human being capacity to make very advanced physical situation. Just like a bridge on the ocean has no pillar for 10 miles, for example. Or going to space or other things. But the same man is not capable how to have a fulfilled state in his feeling. Not, capa not capable. So when this, that situation came in the journey of human life, then he must have thought, I tasted this all souls, this all everything. But nothing stays, it just comes and goes, comes and goes. Stability. So an inquiry into the nature of real. Real means that something which appears but does not disappear. This is the definition of real. Appears, does not disappear. So there are actually two grades that something which are our, our which are our likes, but they turn into dislike tomorrow. Something which is which is which are our like dislikes, but maybe we will start liking tomorrow. For example, suppose when you were children, means you are still young everybody, but smaller, like 10 years, let's say, 12 years. And your mother said, do this, don't do this. But in front of mother you said, yes, yes, yes. Because if you make your mother angry, who will give you food? Father also tried to control, do this, don't do this. But 
you didn't like it you know you felt this is like emotional bondage because the freedom aspect in every human being is inbuilt from childhood child is very free to do everything he wants to do whatever it wants to do will child will do emotional bondage mother will say sit like this don't put your finger in your nose and child think this is my freedom to put my no- uh, finger in my nose what is the problem <laughs> but the same thing you are accepting it in the yoga course very well sit like this sit like this now you inhale you exhale get up this time sleep at this time only this food is there you want to eat it or otherwise don't eat but you are not taking it as an emotional bondage you are accepting it with happiness and you paid it for also this is just an aspect which you might not have thought but i am bringing your attention to it imagine if a child is not disciplined by parents or not told what to do not to do a child will go hey why at the same time inside the child complains this is bondage so the thought of human being should be it needs control otherwise go it will bring us to mental problem what to do what not to do this is mental problem is not bad madness what to do what not to do but if if somebody is told what to do what not to do he say this is bondage at one side is emotional flickering another side is emotional bondage what is the middle ground athato brahma jigyasa an inquiry into the nature of the middle ground where there is no bondage there is no madness either no. that is this is the point where the scripture steps in birth of text in human life but the purpose is that there is satisfaction inside a human human being because the freedom aspect liberation is you know liberation is so much you know first it was women's liberation now in india they have associations husband's liberations man's liberation then they associate teenager uh, liberation every age group liberation looking for liberation because there is a situation in relationship in human life parents children and human being to human being in whatever relationship is a problem but without you without relation a how a human life is possible was chair is there now you can talk to chair chair will not talk back this is a problem but now they have talking chair also means the kind the way you sit then the chair will react why because there is no other human being to react or talk to or whatever the chair talks and reacts bed also pillow also and then on top of everything is robots are there they react means the situation is there where a, a a girl tells his mother her her mother that i found a boyfriend the mother is not even looking she is just asking is a human being or a robot she is just interested in knowing that but this is the situation today so now the birth of robot <coughs> so <coughs> if we look in this creation birds animals no problem nature no problem where is the problem why the birds and and animals and they don't have yoga schools well, only human being has he needs to be told do this don't do this 
बिकॉज द ह्यूमन बींग इज फ्री टू टेक ए चॉइस इट वॉज योर चॉइस टू फिल इट टू ज्वाइन ए योगा कोर्स बट वाई दैट नीड केम बिकॉज एज द ईयर्स वेंट बाय इन योर ईयर इन योर लाइफ and you sat down time to time time to time scratching your head where is my real happiness where is my real decoration of life where is my real satisfaction because nobody wants to lose time nobody wants to lose life and this engine is this engine is very working very fast in human search that where is my real situation where is the real decoration of my life because for everybody their own everybody's own life is most precious means even if you think maybe you thought by now that whom you whom who who is most valuable for you maybe you thought about or not but for most valuable for everybody is one self one himself only or herself only you know if you ask yourself a question that whom for whom i will jump from the first floor if you ask this question nobody for nobody except yourself except yourself But anyway, when Atma Hitam Guriyat, where everybody is embedded with what about me? What is happening to me? Where my life is going? And these questions fly out from inside automatically. They are very important questions. Human being has enormous capacity to think selfishly towards life. also good see if you say if you ask yourself why why i'm doing yoga to realize god oh this answer will come very very late in life or some kind of spirituality also not interested but if you answer somebody i do yoga to make my body well this works and other person will be interested also if you tell somebody you want to make your body attractive do yoga if you want the inside situation of your body well do yoga this will create interest other things not but <clears throat> anyway even if a person goes to a monastery somewhere in the himalayas and goes there to chant mantras for 10 days means the god element is there if god element is not there otherwise the monastery and the nature and the, the spiritual element is there so he is bringing on ground the divine element from god and nature but for what for what purpose to make the situation inside this body very soothing so you see in this way human being is the last production in this creation and everything what we see outside inside in this body already and then this beautiful speaking machine expression expression machine you know throat voice everything feeling expression of feeling this is special in this body other bodies they don't have it and by expressing by expressing something one hears it and that creates a great degree of satisfaction or dissatisfaction in that person for example if you just sit down and say oh say that loudly that doesn't disturb your neighbor but you can you can listen you listen it goes automatically in your ear now you see you invoke the divine element for what 
or the inner feels good beyond this there is no reason to do anything because other reasons are already you know you can there is a lower level there is upper level <coughs> lower level means count your money is good good count the your brain is maybe satisfied for a moment or oh, this much count you were desiring something you go somewhere and you you get it you maybe your mind is happy for 2 hours or 5 days or 10 years you got it but they want more you know the brain wants more more expansion and also mind wants more craving they later on become trouble maker in a human life for example if you if you remove the criteria of physical expansion in your life and also the cravings in the desire is fair if you remove these two things there is no complication in life anymore raksha raksha goshanam api gosham hridayam yasmin surakshitam syat sarvam surakshitam syat therefore pleasing the heart is the intelligence intelligent activity <clears throat> because today is the time of intelligence but man is very emotional no everybody is 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 singing the praise doing aarti to intelligence and rational and logic and this and why and who and where but a person is talking very objective but his decision his judgment on life is very emotional his judgment on life is not subject objective subjective like for example that who who from where this body came or the body came from food you know this simple thinking body came from food food came from where from trees the tree came from where from seed and the seed came from where creator the seed came from creator so actually we came from creator we are part of this creation last product in this creation has to has to be creator so the creator has to own everything the intellectual ownership of everything is creator is a simple so this way if a person says this thing is mine or this thing is mine this mine goes away because creator owns everything and one says i am intelligent i am rational i go by logic i will go by the matter of fact so this is the matter of fact but who is saying it that everything is owned by creator no this is my don't touch my thing this is your thing i will not touch your thing don't touch mine talking so much objective but the the judgment on life is subjective so therefore the scripture brings human being in the lines of intelligence to look at things as they are is called knowledge to look at things as they are knowledge and to to look at things as they are not this is very subjective is very judgmental and this is actually creating a mess in life because the the existence has a system and our understanding has to fit in the system if it does not fit in the system for example paracetamol means painkiller some some medicine painkiller pain in the body so man has flu and pain in the body eat 3 4 4 days 
the pain medicine but out of the fifth day the pain medicine body is rejecting why is it, is this is an indication that the flu has gone is not needed anymore but till yesterday the body was absorbing it because it was fitting in the situation today the system is such that the painkiller is not fitting in the situation not necessary so this fitting in the system is a very important aspect but the ego comes in between i will feel what i want to feel i will say what i want to say i will do what i want to do this is the only situation in human life because only human life there is there is <clears throat> this agenda of being free people look at things means a person say i'm, I'm fed up of this bike people say ladies say that we are, I'm, i'm fed up of this jewelry i'm fed up of things in my room well if you're fed up then throw everything out so the person say actually i don't want to throw out i want bike i want jewelry i want things i want relationships in my life people are around but i don't want problem from them because human life cannot run without without a place without things and without another human being cannot run so the, they are there but they shouldn't give trouble when we talk of freedom liberation what it is meaning means we are still dependent on bike we are dependent on this earth to step on we need another human being to talk to who is which liberation we are talking athato brahm jigyasa the liberation even will be defined by scripture that liberation that what is my purpose in life where i am going dharma mam what is perfectly what will perfectly be good for me when these questions come from inside that's where the scripture is being invoked automatically so you thought about you know there was a flood in your thinking what is good good for me perfect for me you enrolled for yoga course the flood of good thinking and forced you into yoga course so the scripture says that if you are listening to scripture is or you doing it means yoga course this is not a karma it's the result of very good karma accumulation of good karma karma has three sections in your thought in your feeling and in your physical doing but when the inner feeling gets dissatisfied this is a symptom of health suppose suddenly you in life you feel oh, i don't want to you know laugh, laugh around on silly jokes if you remember last time when you laughed loudly on a joke you didn't because it is not there well, the jokes are still flying but you became mature you don't find anything you know funny to laugh on that every year as is passing in human life the understanding the the soul is coming up is covering our thoughts feelings and is not affected by silly situations it is not going to affect what was entertainment yesterday it's not it's is a is a is a basket of trash today just because the soul covered 
the thought of a human being as years went by so this is already a very beautiful indication that in your age you d- you decide to yoga and <clears throat> yoga teacher maybe you become or not but at least yoga is very good because the search engine in you is so fast what will be the perfect situation for me the yoga is all the part of that yoga this is this is discourse this is the beautiful result of that good thinking what is really my well being सच्चिदानंद रूपाय विश्वोत्पत्त्यादि हेतवे तावत्रय विनाशाय श्री कृष्णाय वयम् नमः सो ए प्रेयर इज बीइंग डन इन द बिगिनिंग दैट ओ क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स ऑल व्हाट आई हैव डन थ्रू माय इमोशंस एंड माय टॉक्स एंड माय बॉडी maybe not the words uh, actions of wisdom many ignorant things i have done but whatever is the result coming out of those igno- ignorant things i should take them as teaching i should take them as teachings in my life not complain about it very beautiful situation otherwise you see in everybody's life the biggest enemy is life life didn't give me this and that and that everybody the story is this man versus life but it is such a silly situation like a child fighting a mother child versus mother and child says mother i don't believe in you for me you nothing so mother says first you go and take birth by yourself then come and talk to me so this is how if we shout on life life will say without me you cannot take birth i am supplying you with your life energy 24 hours this argument complain you make towards me life is saying it doesn't exist it doesn't really the life says that you actually you have to tune yourself the radio is there radio is got but you have to bring needle you know to the perfect tuning station now nowadays the scan you know scan button on the radio so radio does it for you the olden times the needles you know radio hamburg <laughs> now it's not coming then people are you know when you money you're turning turning it left then it comes a radio hamburg person can listen frequency has to be same this yoga thing brings the perfect frequency between us and life music is on so once upon a time many many wise sages and who were family people and who were social scientists thinking about you know uh, bringing uh, digging into the atmosphere and producing the scriptures for humanity so these sages and they sit down somewhere by a river and they they make a person called sooth very knowledgeable on the dais and they ask him that we want to listen to the book of bhagavatam to to scripture and we have questions also <clears throat> our question is this that we are simple family beings and we just simply want to flow in life but we find obstruction klesha krantasya tasyaivo this problem in life the problem is that there is illusion and when illusion shows its col- true color then we are disappointed how to purify our mind from those disappointments is our question so where is illusion where is maya our skin 
for a long time it will remain tight but suddenly it will loosen when it starts losing loosening up then our relation with things people and place also become loose disappointments it turns into depression as you see the suddenly when the skin will drop that is where bringing is bringing disappointment because for everybody the dependence is a physical situation physical situation but the physical situation is losing its ground maya mohanirasascha वैष्णवै क्रियते कथम पीपल आर अनाउंसिंग ऑन ईच अदर ओ यू आर माइन आई एम योर्स यू आर माइन दीज आर माइन बट दैट डजेंट वर्क वन डे देन पर्सन स्टार्ट्स अनाउंसिंग ऑन थिंग्स चेयर इज माइन द बेड इज माइन दिस थिंग इज माइन this place is mine that also becomes shaky because human being cannot use it so much his hands cannot hold the glass he doesn't remember what is where so this is disappointment how to pure sage is asking that we are not our question is not how life was made like this and how we can change life our question is not this our question is that how to purify our feeling from these disappointments purification you see when sand is purified it turns into a glass surface on which you can put medicine you can see your beautiful face in the mirror the glass will hold gla- water for you but when sand processed it becomes the the to bring clarity to your vision in your glasses but made out of sand unless processed it's just sand you throw it in somebody's eyes becomes blind but when processed is a life saving surface because if glass surface is not there how to process medicines the other surface will react गोविंद जय जय गोपाल सो यू आर वेयरिंग दिस टी शर्ट नाउ दिस इज कॉटन प्रोसेस्ड द होल सिचुएशन बिकम्स यूजेबल वेन प्रोसेस्ड मेक्स मीनिंग टू योर लाइफ प्रोसेस बट हाउ वी लुक एट दिस लाइफ इज नॉट प्रोसेस्ड दैट्स वेयर द ईगो कम्स मैन से आई एम फ्री आई एम फ्री टू लुक एट लाइफ द वे आई वॉन्ट is one one day if you can read all the yoga sutras 1 to 84 or whatever the number and this is the manual of life for human being constitution for human life if if one agrees to those uh, those many codes of behavior yoga gives a person will have no problem in life <clears throat> so adopting to those sudras means purification purification from what from incorrect definition of life a human being is holding but the beauty is this the people might be millions and zillions whatever the number but they if they want peace in life well being in life flourishing relationships everything all the beauties of life they cannot step out of yoga yoga sutras and look at this life and bring that situation not possible all humanity collectively have to stand and say oh there is no second sound people have tried everything you know every sound they have tried but didn't work what worked oh mantras work om namo bhagavate vasudeva whatever the language a person is speaking 
but one mantra works one sound works from where the wherever the body has come from whichever part of this earth but one asana will work lotus posture lotus position the lotus body inside the water but the lotus head above water so a person has lifted himself up my body is, is you know is supplied by all this sansar this world but my consciousness above above the water you know this is this is the ambiance this works for anybody it came from any part of this earth hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari sage is saying how to purify our feeling also uh, we know that there is something called emotion the feeling aspect is something called karma aspect what to keep and what to leave what to negate what to accept and <clears throat> the knowing aspect that we want to ask how what to know what no, what not to know so the the knowing aspect knowing activity is inside us but the filtration we need to know what to what not to and we are sitting here with total focus and we have time please tell us the best discourse listening to this the knowledgeable sooth said that i am very happy that you asked the question for your real happiness life is running good water is there food is there medicines are there you know family is there everything but inside something is lacking this is the human story today so the thing is that there is as in this body there is one nadi one channel which holds the flow of fire another holds the flow of air another holds the flow of water the water fire air if there's a disbalance in this person says my blood report is good but it's still not good i don't feel good because those three have to be in balance an air water and fire in balance situation therefore a person's thought feeling has to be in good shape it is just not a physical process it's a whole turnover of outlook on life so the sage sooth tells the sages that i'm going to tell you discourse which is like the essence of all the understanding for human being and it will remove all the fears from inside if you have any so he says the once upon a time there was a sage called narad and he was going from somewhere to somewhere but he had lot of emptiness on his face so other sages they stop him and say sage narath you are a devotee of divine and all the time you are just singing bhajman narayan 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 bhaj man narayan bhaj means chant mind man means oh my mind chant oh my mind narayan narayan made out of two words nar means your heart ayan means one who resting on your heart you see this is the chanting involving involving oneself the one who is sleeping in my i worship the one who gives who is giving life to me sitting in my heart bhajman narayan 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 namo narayana that that mantra you sing 
Now, grammatically, it becomes a little different. Narayana Ayo. Om, Om is a Uma, clearance of your chest. Namo, Namo means, O Divine, everything is yours, nothing mine. Narayana means, all my physical, emotional and intellectual have, uh, actions should be for the pleasing of the Divine who is giving me life through my heart. Such a direct prayer, you know, such a direct, repeat, you know, you repeat something which is so direct, you know, it works. Because this is so pinpointed. Om Namo Narayana Whatever I do, but it should please the giver of life who is resting in my heart. Indirectly it means worshipping the well-being. The well-being in turn in Sanskrit is called Dev. And Dev further called God. Your well-being, God. But if you say other way, you know, God is my well-being, it becomes religious. You know. That is a little, little allergic to some people. Some people not also. But let's say this, my well-being is my God. Any problem? Oh, no, no, no problem. My well-being is my God. Om Namo Narayana So sage Nara is saying Narayan all the time. So other sages are asking, you are a devotee. And whatever happens in a devotee's life, one a devotee understands, is a man of intelligence, that whatever happening is coming from creator, creator. How peacefully I invoke the creator today, that's how beautiful will be the day. Because a devotee full of intelligence understands that my local disturbance, my ego, my unrest, everything is not uh, through that, I am not letting Divine look at my life. My ego is looking at life, full of rejection, full of dissatisfaction. So devotee has no personal agenda. He tunes himself perfectly with the source of life. So sages are asking, what is the problem, worry you have on your face? So Nara, Narad says that I have worry on my face, but not for me, somebody else. He said that I went on a world, on a tour around this earth. I went great places. But wherever I went, I saw Satyam Nasti. People are just engaged. Whatever they want to do, they are doing. Tapahashaucham. There is no tapas in life. Everybody becomes lazy. And there is no cleanliness, there is no purity in thought and speech and food and whatever else. And there is no compassion left. And everybody is approaching other person to shake hand, calculating what can I make out from this person. So seeing this situation, Narad said, I didn't feel good, I said, let me go to a quiet place by a river and take a walk. So he goes to the city of Brindavan, by the river Yamuna, he is taking a nice walk quietly. He said, suddenly that time, one, I heard a lady crying. So I saw a beautiful lotus-eyed lady and, and crying with tears. So I ran to her and said that, okay, what can I do? Please tell me your problem in detail. So lady said that my name is love. My name is devotion, love. And my problem, I have two sons. They're lying in front of me like a dead. They become lazy. Name of one son is knowledge and name of another son is Vairagya, renunciation. Gyan, Vairagya, knowledge, renunciation. And it's the duty of children to take, take care of parents. Like the process of knowledge has duty to announce to the world about love. 
but today is announcing about ego so everybody wants to say who he is what he is so process of knowledge is is incorrectly connected to ego and process of renunciation for the sake of ego there is a disintegration in relationships love is being left for the sake of ego like in a court a case came so judge asked what is the case the lawyer said the case is that these this couple wants to separate so judge looked at the couple and the couple looked quite aged so he asked the age so they said sir we are i'm 95 and he is 96 so judge got amused judge said that if you had if you were a divorce you would have taken 40 years back 50 years back but what is the reason to divorce today so wife said i know i don't like the shape of his nose now anymore when i married him he was very good had a good nose you know like a king and the man said now i don't like her skin texture very much judge said at this age doesn't matter you know is reality of this age you i advise that you be together at least you can give each other a glass of water if you separate out who will give you a glass of water he said no 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 we will manage somehow whatever we will go to old home and die there in depression whether rather to look at his nose no <coughs> and they have divorced and every day they are divorcing for the ego for the sake of ego the love association of 60 years 70 years is gone is today the story so lady love is telling narad that can you do something so this knowledge this process comes in my service you know gives information about me seeks information about me and this process of renunciation guards me against ego so say narad say no problem i'll do it so he tried to wake up knowledge and renunciation they not even they started yawning more they not giving any attention to the sage so then sage narad is thinking what happened so he in the ear of knowledge he is talking some intellectual talk is still the knowledge is not coming up and in the ear of vairagya renunciation is talking some detachment talk still the vairagya doesn't come up so sage narad thinks that maybe they are not feeling well with their maybe their stomach is upset or something so he's looking left and right and suddenly a voice come from the sky that don't get disappointed o sage they will get up but you have to do a true deed true karma and the voice stopped so o sage is the the anxiety you are looking at in my face and half of the instruction was told half not the true karma but which karma so other sages say that sage narad you are very humble under your humbleness your knowledge is hiding this this true karma is nothing but the recitation of the book of bhagavatam which has all the scriptures in it so there are two types of karmas in life one is that you give you help a a patient you give somebody to poor you do some charity you go somewhere and do service for a month all these kind this is called shubh karma auspicious work karma but then what remains that we have to correct our definition towards life that's called true karma 
but for for that there is a there is a good amount of shifting of understanding towards life and there there a person stops because he thinks how it like how it look at at life this is my creativity but this is this situation is the 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 aspect of creativity just like parents bring lego games for their small children is a pre assembled toy but in a disintegrated state and the child with a limited thing make two th- in two three days he joins it makes an aeroplane and the parents say you are a big scientist you made aeroplane submarine this that everything but it's a pre assemble pre assemble similarly when we talk of creativity everything is pre assemble but the range is so big a person says this is my creativity range is very big endless what we can find in life but pre assembled if it is not there already we cannot reach there hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare human being has gift of brain thought sentences meaning decision making a choice so alphabet becomes very important like for example why x y z y the y is used, usually used for why but it is actually for why for yoga means there is no why there is only acceptance in yoga there is no why there is only acceptance a a for apple well apple has its value but not till the end what one has to search for a for ananda where there is no happiness no sadness also b b for bliss c for compassion l for love so this way the whole dictionary is different is is it it's a, it is involving a meaning which a person finally will search in life in his or her life the apple will not make a meaning so much not a blueberry not a blackberry either but a for ananda but it sounds a little dry today but when time comes this will be the most juicy a person will say i want peace i don't want to be happy and not unhappy either i want freedom from both this is a liberation so sadagaram so sujago nunam gyan yagya smrto budai shrimad bhagavata lapah satugita shukadivihi so you please do the discourse of bhagavatam which is which is constructed for this reason that the process of knowledge turns towards love process of renunciation comes in protection of love by common sense everybody understands that i want to safeguard my love my emotions who doesn't want and that should be in that direction my intelligence should work and my my physical karma should work and my feeling should work that my love is being guarded so everybody goes by the ganges and by the city of haridwar and the four sages they become speakers to of bhagavatam and sage narad said that i am arranging this discourse so that the mother love becomes happy and knowledge and renunciation they are connected to their respect resp- respective uh, destinations so the discourse starts 
and lot of importance was said about bhagavatam it was said that this book has 18000 verses it is in a dialogue form between a king and a sage <clears throat> because man is dialoguing all the time we are dialoguing we versus di- life this dialogue is on whether we do, do through somebody or direct so in a dialogue form and wherever the bhagavatam the scripture is happening every day that 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 head that understanding and that place becomes like a religious like a spiritual pilgrimage like for example you come here you know, to do yoga course or yoga guest whichever way you could have gone somewhere else also but you you chose yoga retreat for example now as yoga retreat there are rules you have to behave like this behave like this you have to eat this do's and don'ts everything your convenience is not so much and the higher you go in your course attc most rules and regulation sadhana intensive is very intensive so personal convenience is not there but people are taking sadhana intensive eight times 10 times there's no special degree also for that whereas the moment you come out of the sadhana intensive one is searching for one's con- where is my sofa if you go to hotel you know nice hotel by the ocean you go to spain nice hotel is the first thing you go in the hotel and see the wifi is not working your whole mood is spoiled wifi not working i paid for this hotel then other things then food is there this that 1000 complaints and by the time one returns from a spanish holiday the whole head body is kaput convenience not found but you go to any country anywhere for yoga retreat personal convenience is not there inconvenience and at the end of the day person says not bad if he doesn't say you know because ego blocks so it's not bad your family will call us how are you how are you you got it and you will say oh not bad <laughs> well that means is good you have nice food to eat family will ask not bad you have nice chair to sit oh not bad you have a convenient time to get up is not bad <laughs> end of the day it's not bad <laughs> and it works better it works better but at the same time underlying thing is that the personal convenience is not addressed to the extent that you have to wear only one color but no problem why heart is happy you know your chest is happy and end of the day the more light on your face you see you take your selfie today and then you take selfie don't take in between take the when you get certificate take that time and you see from today to that day the light will be more dine dine navam namam namami nand sambhavam new experiences are churning up every day in in this body inside and the reflecting on your face light is increasing but where from where from there was no convenience physical convenience because you were in the service of your heart simple so service of your heart the worldly convenience we are service of mind and brain ego and desires here in the service of heart aham twa sarva pape bhyo mokshishyami ma shocha come in the service of heart and all the toxins from the thought from emotions physically in the body will they go out purification will shine on the face just take your heart 
because time is not much tree is big of life just take care of the root the rest of the thing life will do similarly your heart is your root take care of it which way yoga yoga takes in and out care not much has to do govind jay jay gopal so you see also when we go to yoga retreat we came out of from the box of me and mine my habits my things my perspective over looking at life my dialoguing that me is left behind where is happiness in life when there is no me jab main tha tab hari nahi when i was in the box of me and mine feeling was dull when i came out of that life is very adventurous the proper hormones are coming up in the box me and mine limited that is being said that anybody who will read one line of the book of bhagavatam will elevate evolute in his understanding towards life every day more new experiences in life very attractive and charming a person says i don't have time to read one life okay read half no time for that okay quarter quarter of line no time okay fold your hand in front of the scripture no time like my hands are you know engaged in world no problem put a glance through the glance the wisdom will fly in and do the needful that magical this is if it is not even in glance then it's a problem because what is out of sight out of mind so never let it be out of sight your for example whatever is in this bhagavatam is also in your ttc manual now that is your dt if you wonder one day who is mine in this life that ttc manual and the yoga mat this is yours nothing else will come to rescue or help or soak away the anxiety from inside nothing please if you call a friend saturday night and say to you have time i want to come and talk with you my anxieties for 2 hours he said no 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 don't come put my saturday you know come on monday this is saturday weekend you know don't come put it nobody is ready but you know if you, if you you if you show first incense do arati to your yoga mat then unfold it and then say oh my friend now i want to talk my anxiety sitting on you are you ready yoga mat said yes i'm ready all the time ever ready and you sit on the yoga mat meditation 15 minutes 10 minutes and head full of problems but in 10 minutes 15 minutes when you end your meditation your anxiety worries are gone where it is gone because this yoga mat is not mat this is god this is what is bringing you to that mudra that that posture in in yoga the posture is god if that posture is not there there is no well being we have problems inside we want to talk talk it out no is there is nobody talk it out people go to psychic doctors please listen to me no and the psychic doctor says well listening to you i am coming in a depression myself <laughs> <laughs> in london there was a cat this you know this person has this cat so she takes the cat to the cat was okay healthy everything but behaving differently 
So the cats also have psychic doctors. <coughs> to to the cat to I said, I think doctor, my cat is in depression. So that psychic doctor, you know, they chop, you know, turned the cat upside down, everything, you know. He said, the cat looks good. The cat looks good. Because the doctor knows the feel of the, you know. The cat looks good. But it may be a possibility, doctor said to the lady that maybe you are in depression. And the cat is looking at your face 24 hours. <laughs> so the cat is, you know, soaking away your depression. And actually cats do. Cats and dogs and pets. They know, the dog knows when the heart attack is coming. No machine can know heart attack coming. So heart patients are advised, keep it dog. And if dog behaves in this way, call me. Is a sure heart attack. How much capacity, capability the animal kingdom has in bird? Human being is zero. A small world, bird knows when the earthquake coming. Keep a bird. And if the bird behaves in that matter, in that manner, means earth is going to be shaky. 100%. Human being has to rely on the phone. How is the weather today? How will it be like this, like that? The machine is telling human being, get up now, you are sitting for 20 minutes. Anyway, so the capacity though, the doctor said, this cat is alright. You are not alright. So, Maybe the lady is talking her problems to the cat. If she's not talking, the cat is absorbing. So the problem remains. If the problem is out of the lady, now the problem is inside the cat. One body has to take it. But how nice it would be that the, neither the cat has not the, nor, nor the lady. Sit on the yoga mat. You don't need to talk, your some things are secret, something you cannot talk to anybody. And something if you say, people may, will make fun out of it. But for you, it's a serious matter. Meditate. Within 10 minutes, that question will be addressed. Even that question will be taken away because every a story a human being has only a story of dissatisfied ego portion of our physical senses. I didn't get this, I couldn't say this, I didn't, couldn't do there, that person behaved like this, this is the story. But meditation means you invoked the divine in your heart. Now, divine has a special shredder. All the problems here, unsolved ans questions and everything, divine shreds. Otherwise, it will appear like a disease on body somewhere, for sure. That's why, who is yours? Yoga mat. That's why, who is yours? Your TTC manual, where nothing will rescue, nothing will work. That will work. So, beautiful discourse of Bhagavatam happened by the river Ganges and on its completion in that area entered three, three persons, one lady and two very strong looking full of muscles men. So the lady was lady love, devotion and the two men were Gyan and Virag knowledge and renunciation, very happy. Why? Because they were connected to their respective points. Knowledge to love and renunciation towards ego. Keep it at a distance. They were happy. And then that and all these three were chanting, started chanting. Govind Dhamo Dharmadhveti where the knowledge and renunciation with the respective points, 
the right thing will come out from this mouth if your process of knowledge is fixed with love process of renunciation against ego and you go to your friend friend said how did how how did you come was well, out of love only i just came out of love no other reason govind damodar madhaveti before i came here it was love for you now i come i'm here is love and when i go back it's only love towards you jive sadaivam bhaj sundarani namani krishnasya manoharani समस्त भक्तार्थ विनाशना और गोविंद दामोदर माधवेती गोविंद दामोदर माधव नेम्स ऑफ डिवाइन एंड इन द एंड द वर्ड इति इति मीन्स नथिंग बिफोर नथिंग आफ्टर इति इन द सेंस ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट दैट वेरी मोमेंट सो वैन वी चैंड दिस लाइन गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति दिस इति फुल स्टॉप एवरी ड्रॉप ऑफ आर ब्लड लिसेंस बिकॉज वेन सी यू इन्वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इन योगा मे बी यूर वेस्ट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम बट नॉट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम बिकॉज फॉर यू फॉर एवरी ह्यूमन बींग द मोस्ट प्रेशस थिंग इज अ ड्रॉप ऑफ ब्लड वॉट पिक्चर इट हैज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट and to keep that drop of blood in a beautiful picture state <clears throat> by doing asanas by doing pranayam mantra om and right food and right thought and tcg manual and yoga mat everything is making your drop of blood satisfied that is stretch and that is stress with a drop of blood is you know we are torturing with it goes everything can wait sit down have samadhi why drop of blood i don't want to stretch it i don't want to stress it so that very moment in that discourse place the divine also appeared krishna appeared wearing beautiful yellow clothes and playing flute and from the sound of flute he was soaking away the anxiety of everybody and dipping everybody in the relish of bliss not happiness not sadness either the whole situation because of the appearance emergence of love consciousness the it became divine just like by a river when there is a sunset and you see if the sunset has perfect color orange everything is divine the ocean the mountain and this and that but if it is gray mountain has no value sun has no value you went for held holiday that is kaput nothing to look at the orange is made out of two colors yellow and red red is love and yellow is purity when purity and love join together then it is orange color so have a to- touch of orange in your life maybe a pillow maybe a bed sheet maybe a handkerchief maybe something cushion something maybe one wall in the four walls one wall in your room orange whenever you want to feel happy look at orange because it has that effect it has that effect is a joining of purity and love radhe sham 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 everybody because this is the effect of bhagavatam love consciousness comes up 
takes over the psyche of human being ego goes so then a person decorates himself by civil simplicity love and peace and the flute meaning his voice his sound his speech is only harmony is only harmony everybody fell down in the feet of love consciousness and love consciousness love wearing beautiful peacock feather yellow clothes and a beautiful flute मोर मुकुट माथा तिलक विराजा कुंडल अल काका जी मारो प्रणाम के बिहारी जी मारो प्रणाम के बिहारी अधर मधुर धर द लव डिवाइन पुट द फ्लूट ऑन हिज लिप्स the sound of float is bringing everybody in the ocean of nectar of bliss adhar madhur dhar mansi श्याम राधे 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 radhe jam radhe jam radhe jam open your mouth no open your mouth bring out your breath shoulder behind chest out because it's a process of the divine feeling inside that's why the breath is made for radhe jam Radhe Sham 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 Sham Radhe Sham Radhe Sham Little quickly we go on when we do it little faster the coordination between tongue and brain so this is very important Radhe Sham 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 so quickly the tune and the place you singing correctly radhe sham 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 radhe 
भज मन राधे राधे Hey, man, run. 